This is a high-speed police pursuit through the streets of Hamilton. But the officer driving the car claimed it didn't happen. What happened to this officer and other local police who are found to be untruthful? For months, the Nine on Your Side I team investigated how local police departments police their own officers. Last night, we revealed dozens of local officers used excessive force, but none of them were fired. Chief investigative reporter Craig Cheatham joins us in studio right now to reveal what happens to police officers found to be dishonest. Craig and Tanya, some police departments terminate employees who are caught lying. But in nearly 9 out of 10 cases of police officer dishonesty reviewed by the I-Team, the officers kept their jobs. We're going southbound on Harmon. He's not stopping. He this is the pursuit Hamilton police officer Ray Nickting claimed never happened. Turning right on the ground, I'm not pursuing him. But after Nickting denied on the radio that he was pursuing the suspect, he drove even faster. Driving up to 82 miles an hour on city streets, Nickting passed a car after crossing yellow lines without using his lights or sirens as an oncoming vehicle approached. His actions last January, identified in a Hamilton Police Department disciplinary report, show Nickting violated four different general orders of the department's policy, including his actions during a pursuit. The officer caught on his own dash camera, a pursuit he insisted didn't happen. Quite frankly, I don't think the public has a lot of interest in this. Hamilton Police Chief Craig Bukite provided dash camera video of the incident recorded from four Hamilton police cars as part of the city's response okay. to the I-Team's request for police records. We also received a disciplinary report written by Hamilton Police Lieutenant Michael Waldeck. Waldeck determined Nickting provided false information several times and didn't tell the truth until two weeks after the pursuit. After Nickting knew the incident was under investigation. He was wrong. He admits that he was wrong, and he was disciplined for it. Nickting received a written reprimand, but no suspension. Chief Bukite blasted the I team for focusing on mistakes of officers instead of the good they do in the community. When you want to drag them through the mud and rake them over the coals, I think it's shameful. In June of last year, Middletown police officer Andrew Minnick denied using force against this man then admitted he intentionally kicked him in the head and lied because he was afraid of losing his job. The Middletown Police Department's investigation determined Minnick violated policies for use of force and departmental reports, but not truthfulness, even though Minnick admitted lying. Minnick was suspended for one day. A week after the acting city manager approved the suspension for Minnick, the Middletown Police Department's Facebook page featured Minnick, saying, quote, we are excited about the excellent job he does for MPD and our community. Middletown and Hamilton are in Butler County. Our investigation also found cases of police dishonesty in Warren and Hamilton counties. In this letter written years ago to local police departments in Hamilton County, Prosecutor Joe Dieters recommended a strict termination policy for any officer who was found to have been untruthful in reports testimony or interviews but an i-team investigation found that local police departments rarely fire cops who are caught lying the i-team's investigation of 40 local police departments identified 37 employees found to be dishonest by their own department four of the 37 were fired most were suspended some only received counseling is honesty important Hell yeah, it is. Absolutely it is. Cincinnati attorney Mike Allen is a former police officer, judge, and elected county prosecutor of Hamilton County. Falsification of a police report, um, not being truthful to other officers who are investigating an incident that you're involved in as a police officer, mm -hmm. how big of a deal is that? Well, I mean, falsification of a report can be a criminal offense. Uh, it's falsification, which is a misdemeanor. But the I-Team's investigation found no police officer from the 40 departments we examined had been charged with a crime for falsifying a report. Prosecutor Dieters also provided the I-Team with a copy of this list. It contains the names of 36 current and former police officers who the prosecutor's office determined have credibility issues that need to be disclosed to defendants as required by the courts and federal law. 
Most of the officers on this list are here because they lied. And most of these officers are still working for the same police departments. By examining thousands of internal police records, the I team uncovered more documented cases of officers who lied, but their names were not on Dieter's list. It's unclear if the police departments provided the unlisted officers' names to the prosecutor's office. You want to focus in on what any officer has done wrong at any point in their career. In Hamilton, Police Chief Craig Buchheit admits he did not disclose to the Butler County Prosecutor's Office that Nickting provided several false statements related to that pursuit. But the chief believes the decision to not tell the prosecutor and the discipline for Nickting were handled properly. He was disciplined appropriately and accordingly, and we moved on. The I-Team attempted to contact police officers Ray Nickting and Andrew Minnick, but we were not successful. Today, the city of Middletown announced Lieutenant Jim Cunningham, a 28-year veteran of the department, would retire next week. The I-Team has been investigating allegations of misconduct by Cunningham and the city's response to it. And Craig and Tanya will air that story tomorrow at 6.